Going here, we need to get cover. Hi, how is everybody doing? Today's lesson is going to be on pronunciation. I made a few mistakes in some of the first videos that I made for the new language. Um, specifically, the palatal click and the strident vowels. I want to just correct the mistakes that I made in there. They weren't accurate because I didn't know what I, I didn't have the, 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 the full picture of, of how they were pronounced. I hadn't done as much research as I thought I had did. Um, for example, for the palatal click, um, I described it in the first video as a, as, as a dental click that's just pronounced a bit further back in the mouth. So instead of saying, you would pronounce it now this isn't exactly true the way you pronounce it instead is in ba it's basically pronounced in the same place as the dental click is so instead of pronouncing it you're going to pronounce it what you do is you push the tongue up flat against the roof of the mouth and then the front part of the tongue gets snapped downwards um, forcibly like the alveolar click but instead it makes this very sharp sound it's actually if you listen to certain recordings of the new language you will you will find that it's it's very 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 similar to the dental click it takes a bit of a trained ear to to distinguish between the two but they are distinct clicks I was just doing a bit of an alternation there so you have your dental and then you have your 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 palatal sorry it's a very small difference but it's a difference nonetheless now I want to go over the strident vowels I gave a description of the stridal strident vowels based on a few audio recordings but I didn't fully understand how it was done I thought it was supposed to be exclusively an alveolar trill. So you you you, you trill the not the alveolar trill, sorry, the glottal trill. So the the place where you pronounce your H sound, I thought you had to vibrate it every single time you pronounce it that way. But upon further research I found that you don't have to you it you can do it if the situation permits it. But generally, it's just a constriction of the glottis, so it pronounces. So it's pronounced in a very rough and deep way. So, for example, let's look at the word for strong, which is ai, ai, not ai, but ai. It's it's a lot smoother, and it's a more it's a lot more comfortable to pronounce it that way as well. So. Another word for another word with a, a strident vowel would be ha i, which means hot. Um, oike, which is a, a a lion, oike, which is a sand tortoise. And I think that's about it. I just wanted to clear up some mistakes that I had made, and I hope you found this video helpful. Um, and you'll find that it's a lot easier to practice now now that you have some you have a better basis of of of, of pronouncing words okay well that's about it for this video koinkia nasingli